Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. This is Rajiraj and you are streaming on the study piece. So today we are going to start a new topic that is based on the cloud computing. So this is the very first video on cloud computing. So uh, you guys uh, may have some knowledge about cloud and if not, uh, this video uh, would be like a basics to cloud computing. Uh, what are this uh, components in cloud and where this cloud is used uh, mainly. So uh, let's get started. So first of all, uh, apart from the definition, uh, why we need the cloud or what is this cloud? Cloud means uh, any service that is on a uh, virtual network. For example, like uh, many of the organizations, uh, like the IT organization, uh, which could be small or medium, earlier uh, in the like for past before uh, 10 years and all, 10, 20 years, uh, these organizations uh, had some services and centers like data centers. Like uh, they use the traditional methodology for uh, mounting and accessing those servers, DB servers, for mail servers, and etc. etc. Now, uh, at that point of time, uh, when the uh, demand and uh, when the like services, when the technology grew up, uh, this uh, what do you call this? The bottleneck uh, went on increasing. So to overcome that, uh, we need like a particular consolidated place where uh, all services we can access from one particular place. So like uh, in an organization, an IT organization, uh, basically we need a DB, that is a database, we need a mail server, we need some networking, we need some firewalls for routing out the rules. We have modems, switchers, routers, QPS, QPS means for the query per second, that means how many uh, number of queries or the load the server is going to handle. Next we have uh, to hire that much number of maintenance engineers to maintain all these. So uh, you can estimate the amount of uh, like resources required to actually uh, like the control the cloud. So uh, we need to like move to some particular place. So that particular place is cloud. And so uh, when you move everything this to cloud, what happens is that the industry or your organization uh, will reduce its cost and it can uh, see upon its benchmark like how many uh, cost reduction has attained in over the uh, last few days like uh, within you employ uh, this uh, cloud to your services like as you go for pricing uh, this uh, services are available like based on uh, various pricings are there so as you give some price uh, you will get some storage space on the cloud where you can mount all these things so a considerable amount of uh, reduction in the industry's cost can be observed uh, which can be uh, proven to the a, a boon to the uh, financial outcome for the industry. So that's a small idea or how and where cloud is used. Now going to the definition, now this cloud computing uh, states that it is a demand and delivery of IT services that is information technology services or resources via the internet with pay as you go pricing. Now this means that IT resources could be anything like servers, services, storage, network, DB, uh, mail servers and many many things. So uh, this resources can be accessed over the internet. Now this internet is written in small. Now this internet stands for the small internet. Uh, or the uh, small communication network that is within an organization not the uh, big internet that is the global internet so that we write as capital I so there is a uh, difference between small internet and capital internet that is uh, based on the I and the small I and cap size so uh, now uh, when you want the services which are mounted over this uh, network you have to pay some price and as you uh, pay for the price you will get those services now this payment goes on increasing as you want how many services uh, for your application or uh, for your environment to function uh, perfectly now uh, when you do this you obviously have some uh, solution for uh, the infrastructure uh, which you earlier didn't thought of and it can be uh, at a low cost uh, that you can encounter that how many number of or how many amount do I need to actually pay to get those services. Now these are the things that I have discussed uh, what an IT organization actually needs 
uh, more things are required but these are the uh, key things which you need uh, to run an organization now uh, consider these two scenarios now here we haven't uh, deployed any cloud services now this is two workloads that is workload a and workload b now workload a has software <coughs> hardware storage as well as network now it has its own service management similarly we have workload b which has also got software hardware storage and network and it has got some service management now uh, say for example if you have n number of workloads then for n number of workloads you will create these many services so you will basically replicate so uh, to get those services individual service management becomes a quite tedious and very difficult task so to overcome that uh, we just pull out these components that is software hardware storage and network and we move on to the cloud so with this means what basically happens is that service management becomes very very easy and with this you can get automated service management this means that you can uh, get any of the services at any time you want 24 by 7 you can get the services all these are standardized services this means that uh, anyone who will access this he will get those services like he will not lag for any of this uh, like if he wants storage he gets storage if you want for a network he get for network if you want software hardware resources he will get for that and location independency this is the main thing uh, which speaks on cloud that means that if i am accessing some resource from usa and if someone is accessing from some uh, other locality then this uh, location independency uh, states that uh, you will not be aware from where you are actually accessing those services so that becomes a very important thing in cloud computing and that is must next is rapid scalability means uh, you can scale your resources as much as you want and it is self service means it's not a rule that you uh, if you pay for this price you will get only these things if you pay less you get uh, less things if you pay more uh, you get more if you want you can buy it's like that uh which service you want you can uh, deploy those services for your environment so uh, this was all about uh, this cloud services this was without a cloud and this when you host it on a cloud so these are the advantages or some features which you get after uh, upgrading to your cloud services next uh, talking about there are three main components for cloud and those are there is a client there is a cloud network and there is a cloud api now this client is like uh, how we access our gmail servers the dropbox and everything which are on the cloud so uh, this client are basically users which interact with this cloud servers so there are three types of uh, clients it is a mobile client you have then you have a thin client and then you have a thick client now thin client are those clients which do not have a hard disk in them and thick clients are those which have a hard disk uh, your desktops and all and thick clients are those uh, you can consider it as your uh, browsers your chrome your explorer mozilla firefox safari and all those things next to have the cloud network means if you want to interact or if users want to interact or if users want to get services from that cloud you need to interact over some network so that could be either this internet or the internet with the capital i that is for the global internet so that is a linkage basically so that is the main link uh, where you can access this uh, services from the cloud next there is a cloud api so this api defines which all protocols uh, the software calls that you make from hardware to software so everything and all is managed by this cloud api so all these three interacts uh, with each other and thus makes a, a big picture of the cloud so this was all about your cloud computing and this was the very first video so hope you enjoyed this video if you found this video helpful please hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe thanks for watching